must be born again to see the kingdom of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. There's only one you can be saved by. Jesus saith, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. So that's a very straight and narrow way. A straight and narrow way that leads to life. And we come out preaching that, folks, today because God wants you to have life. He wants you to have it more abundantly. Don't be caught up with the, the times that we live in. There still is hope and peace to those that submit themselves to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Word of God says we are not ashamed of the Gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to everyone. I talked to a man a few weeks ago and he had this doctrine that only a certain race and only a certain people were saved. But that's not what the Word of God teaches. The Word of God says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God is no respecter of persons. If you will submit yourselves to the doctrines of God, the Word of God says, to those that obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming in flaming fire to take vengeance on them that know not God. So what we're here today is to try to get you to know God, to know who He is, to know what the judgment is to come because it's going to be in flaming fire to take vengeance on them that know not God. But the Lord Jesus Christ, you can know Him. He's not so far off today. If you will take the time to learn of Him, He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, I am meek and lowly. Learn of me, and, I, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The burden, the burden of the Lord is light, folks. And that's why I'm passing out these uh, cards to show you that, you know, this Catholic Church, and pretty soon those Catholics, they're going to be setting their tables up, folks, and their burdens are not light. Their yoke is not easy. But God's yoke is easy. His burden is light, his yoke is easy. He says, come, all to, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You want rest unto your soul today, folks? You're not going to find rest unto your soul in this earth and in this world system we live in, but you can find rest unto your souls through Jesus Christ, through the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. That was the peace that he gave to this earth. He shed his blood so that men could have peace. You're not going to have peace on this earth, folks, because there's two entities fighting against each other. Even as we speak right now, there's two entities. The powers of darkness, the powers of Satan, and the power of God. And even the power of Satan, he will even come through religious works. He will even come through religion through a false religion like Catholicism, Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, black Hebrew Israelites. And you know what? I have to mention them because I was threatened by one a few weeks ago. That's not the love of God, folks. The love of God is that He died for all men. And even in this community, within a less than a half mile from this corner, 
a woman, a young girl was raped in a store, folks, less than a half a mile from here last week. And what was it? It was, it was a worker. It was a, no comprendo, Jesus Christ, inferno, if you don't receive him. Yeah, you understand that? Repent, believe the gospel. Yeah, less than half a mile away. A worker in a store raped a young girl. They locked the door and raped the girl. And then they get on the they get on the the news and start talking about oh how they gotta change things. The executive director gets Monroe County gets on and says, Oh, there's a, a school only a thousand feet away from where a girl got raped less than half a mile from this destination oh you know why because the governments are gonna fail they're not here for you but the Lord Jesus Christ is here but you know what the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost but peace doesn't come from sin peace comes from the righteousness of God and that's what the Lord Jesus Christ desires of you today to turn to the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That's what liberty in Christ means. Not peace that people get along with one another, they don't hurt one another or they're tolerant, but that they will have liberty in Christ because of the righteousness of God which brings peace. It's the righteousness of God that brings peace, folks. Repent, believe the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand.